All right, so what we're going to do now is create a replacement message for a web proxy block. Uh, and in that message, uh, we're going to actually create a redirect so you can send a user to another web page when they are blocked and include some information about the, the block itself. So we're going to start uh, with this. We're going to work on this VM. This is a FortiGate VM. Um, it's an unlimited license, but we have two CPUs uh, allocated. I'm running version 705, so this may look a little different than yours, but the, the general process has been the same throughout multiple versions. So the first thing we'll do is we'll come in and we'll take a look at the policy we're going to apply it to. Um, so we have this proxy policy where we're going to uh, apply, right? So we've got a destination of info.cern.ch. I'm going to change that to something that won't match um, so that we will get to the block pages. We have two block pages down here. Um, I did have this set up using usernames or user groups, and so but I've since removed those for something else. But So we should fall through to admin block rule here. Um, and so what we'll do is we will um, show the CLI of this. And you'll notice that in the CLI for this, this policy, I've got um, set replacement message override group mobile redirect. All right. So this is the second step after creating the replacement message is you'll come back and set this so you map the new replacement pages to this rule. Okay, so under system and replacement message groups, you'll want to hit create new, give your group a name, and then choose security or authentication. So if I were doing like a web filter block, I would choose type security, but I'm just doing a web proxy block currently, so I'm going to use authentication. And then you would hit OK, and then you would come back in and you would double click on that, and you would have all these replacement pages. Okay, Each one of these has its own set of HTML and possibly JavaScript. Um, you can totally wipe these out because these are specific to your use case. Um, the, the, the default pages are, are untouched uh, when you follow this, this method. So we'll come down to Web Proxy Block Page, and we'll double-click it. And then you can see I've kind of already created this one, and on the left you'll see what the rendering should be. It's kind of like your preview. And then on the right you'll see um, the HTML that it took to do this. So you can just paste in whatever HTML you want. So in this case, we're including a, a link. This is href right here. So this will be a link that the user can click. That's what this is here. Um, and in, the, in that link, we're including a variable. Um, and then that variable, um, I've, I've, sent, I've pulled it out, so I'll, I'll add it back in. But um, Grab this here and put it into the head. I don't recall exactly where it goes, but we'll put it in here. Um, and so this, this line is basically saying we're going to refresh or redirect the browser after 10 seconds. So we'll change that down to... Maybe you only want that to be four or whatever. After four seconds, you're going to send them to this URL, which includes, again, this, this variable. All right? Well, that variable, if I, I have a list of variables I can use, um, it's going to pull information out of basically the log that's being generated. So if I do percent percent, it's going to give me a list of my variable options. Right, and so one of those will be URL, um, which I'm going to use in this case. Right, so I can click it, 
and hit enter, or I can just double click it, and then now URL's here, right? And so you'll see, um, well, in this case, it's in the title, so you don't see the title on the preview, but that would mean the URL would show up in the title <laughs> in that case. Um, but that, that's how you create the page. Um, and, and this HTML is totally customizable. All right, so you would hit, um, you'd hit save. I'm not, I'm not going to, but you'd hit save. And you see this green check mark, which tells you it's modified, right? If you wanted to set it back to normal, you can just click restore defaults. Okay. And so then after you create the page, then you go to your policy. Um, but in your policy, you can just say set replacement message override group and then the name of it. Tell you what, why don't we um, just do a quick example. We'll show how it looks. Okay, so I went back and uh, modified that replacement message to actually include the redirect so you can see that as well. So if we go to http info.cern.ch, you can see this was our page. And here was our link, and after four seconds, it redirects us uh, to the web page we got redirected to. And you can see in the URL bar that I went to this web page, and then I included that URL equals, and then the variable. Well, the variable brought across the whole URL as well. Hope this was helpful. Um, let me know in the comments if you'd like to see something else. Thanks.